Hey mate, are you the super user in the office? You know, the power user, whenever you get a new start to turn up? Are you responsible for all the training guides or the documentation whenever you get it? I don't know, there's a change to the CAD system or there's an update to the CRM system. Is it your job to make all the training material? Did you even want that job? How did that even happen? Are you going to appreciate it? Are you taking it for granted? Tell Uncle Neil all about it in the comments down below. Uncle Neil, that sounds really bizarre. Don't, don't tell Uncle Neil, but never mind. I was that guy as well, so I understand. And tragically, all my guides tended to be about as attractive as, as well, the, the 2am taxi queue after a night out in Whitley Bay. But fact of the matter is, mate, because of how the world is right now, teams and people in the workplace, they're just not meeting as much in person as they used to be. Now that remote working is kind of the norm and travel avoidance is the norm. So writing guides and sending information out, and information out digitally is, is happening a lot more often as well as a lot of Teams and Zoom meetings. But speaking purely 100% off of my own experience, I hated handwriting guides and the likes of Word or PowerPoint, text screen grab, text screen grab. It was shockingly bad. I can only imagine how depressing it was to actually have to read and follow it. But it isn't just training guides that I'm talking about here. Like for example, you're the health and safety officer for a business, mate. Mate, mate, come here, right? Between me and you. I know you've been told in various courses that you're the most important person in the entire world. But your safety bulletin emails look the same as all the other 200 emails that land in my inbox each day. And frankly, they're as boring as an episode of Batwoman. I don't read a single one of them. They get, in fact, they get filtered off into the junk. Make them more interesting, like CEO company updates project manager team updates if you're doing investor or sales tenders there's a really simple way to communicate a message out to a business in a way that people will be able to easily consume that information without having to block book out their entire afternoon to read stacks of emails that are massive and that's today's video sponsor PictoChart. so PictoChart started in 2011 they've got over 6 million professional users worldwide and it's a free to use and Highly online based all in one graphics design tool. It's a report builder, a presentation creator, which runs 100% in your internet browser. So you don't need to even use a high end laptop or a computer to even run it. And it's powerful, it's robust, and it's aimed at people like me who, admittedly, even though I've run an Inventor Tips and Tricks channel for a long time, I've got actual zero skills in graphic design. But their free plan gets you access to literally everything. So there's no time limits on how long you can use it. You get full access to the massive library of graphical icons and industry specific art. So you, you don't need to spend hours Google searching for anecdotal comical pictures, right? Hoping you can find something good quality, crisp with a transparent background. We've done that dance many times before. Uh, but the best thing about this is if you are graphically creatively impotent like I am, it, it just doesn't matter because the free account even gives you full unrestricted access to all of their templates. So you can literally just look for a decent template as a starting point, do a copy design, that's the, the save as, right? And then use that as a starting point. But what I like to do is just poke around all the templates and then steal the ideas. And then uh, alternatively though, you can just start from like a, a white starting point, like a white sheet of paper from scratch, upload your own pictures from your desktop and then use their built-in dead easy tools to create something infinitely more likely to be engaged with than what was my tatty word document. I mean, when you look at them side by side, for me, it's just a complete no brainer. And it wasn't even that much more time consuming to create. But the bonus here is the sheer variety of templates to use. There's reports with built in charts that you can just double click in and edit and pass off as your own. Uh, it's picked a chart after all. I mean, there's presentations, which are PowerPoint style graphics. There's large form posters for printing out to PDF. You can use those to advertise the next company barbecue instead of sending out long waffly emails. Tell the company about an impending VIP client visit, for example. Plus the social media templates as well, which are all preset and formatted that fit perfectly to the likes of LinkedIn posts. So you don't get that weird cropping effect going on, which is perfect for marketing and PR teams. And they do that for Facebook, Instagram, all the major social media platforms. And with PictureChart, there's an absolutely mental sized library of assets for pretty much anything you could ever want. Health and safety icons, like for your safety flash posters, there's icons of ambulances and you know little red crosses and stuff. Uh, there's other con in industry specific imagery for creating stuff to go into tenders and reports. A huge collection of textiles and stylish fonts so you don't have to visit dodgy corners of the internet looking for those. 
uh, weird fonts to make things look interesting. You can just drag, drop tables in, charts, videos, full-sized photos, the beat goes on. And then at the end of it all, you just download it all to a super high quality PDF or a PNG file for distribution out. And considering this is all free and basically pinned just to a bookmark in your web browser, uh, that makes this a pretty good deal in my book. And un unlike other online tools that you can use, you don't have to pay to access all of these icons and libraries. For me, it's absolutely worth seeing which parts of your business and your output can be optimized to a clean and smart graphic using PictoChart. And uh, now obviously there is some limitations to the free account, but this is actually one of the main reasons why I'm supporting PictoChart because once you do reach the limitations of what the free account can actually offer, they, unlike almost every other business out there, don't force you into a subscription plan. In fact, you can carry on using their entire platform, all the graphic design tools, and then basically just pay per download, pay per PDF, pay per PNG. I think it's something like three bucks fifty a shot. But if you do want to join the likes of Kraft Heinz, Verizon, Disney, Citigroup, the United Nations, by upgrading to a pro account, then there is a plan for that which gets you unlimited downloads, unlimited visuals, uh, projects, visuals, it's the same thing, uh, as well as team collaboration, so multiple people can collab on visuals and then also brand customization, all that kind of stuff. So honestly, mate, just check it out. It takes literally 20 seconds to sign up and get into the site. Uh, it's been designed so that even creatively inept people like me can just drag stuff off of the sidebar onto a white sheet and it still ends up looking something good uh, in, in like a few minutes. You get the full visual asset library and all the templates to get going with. So stop sending out trash and give it a bash. Stop sending out trash and give it a bash. I like that. That's good. Anyway, links in the description. Thanks to Pick the Chart for sponsoring this video. And frankly, Real Talk Made offering alternate options to monthly subscriptions to get work done. Uh, I think in today's climate, that kind of speaks volumes. So to get cracking on knocking up some mint visuals in no time, links are in the description, as well as a Tech 3D discount code should you want to upgrade to the pro plan for the likes of unlimited downloads and all that good stuff. And as a little bonus, for those of you who've made it through to the end, there's also a link to the picture chart our team page, you know that page where they show all the people who work for the company, which is one of the most interesting ones that I've ever seen. Uh, go check that out as well. It's quite fun to see what each person who works at the business offered up when they were asked to submit a GIF or a GIF to sort of represent them as a person or I, I don't know it's just it, it's just interesting to see so go check that out as well thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one doodles